Good afternoon, everybody. Rose Thorne here. Today, I am doing a reaction video to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Nice Day for a Coffee Bees in it. So this is the live stream that she did after the video, the edited video that she posted this morning, where she revealed that she dropped the charges against Natter. And I did that video, posted it up. I gave them all my thoughts on the situation. So we're moving on to this live stream where she's running around doing stuff and she's barely dressed in her PJs, which she has not changed out of. And basically, I feel that a lot of this live stream is deflection, although she does touch on the whole Natter situation. So let me just go ahead and pull up the other screen. One second, please. And there she is. But before we get deep into this live stream react, before we even start the comments, I would like to show you what she posted before this live stream. I'm going to have to go ahead and minimize the screen. So I've got a bunch of screenshots I want to show you guys. Okay. So let's start with this one. This is the members only community post. And it says, just a warning before any more beezing. I don't want any natter talk in my chats anymore. I am tired of victim blaming. I am tired of explaining my decisions to people who only want this drama or to those who don't understand and are just downright hateful. There is no excuse. I am so tired of people always expecting me to be perfect, like I should have handled this perfectly. Stats exist for a reason. If it were that easy for an abuse victim to leave, it would not take an average of seven times to finally leave. It took me a while to, but I'm not explaining myself anymore. So one effing word of shame, etc. I will block and never unblock as you've been warned. I didn't go back again like people think. Those were not my boots. In fact, no one has ever seen me with a pair of black boots. Like people literally making stuff up and morons eat it up like, I guess, candy. I'm not going back. I have not been there. There. So any questions about him ignored and any victim blaming crap is blocked. I got a few thoughts on this community post. So Foodie Beauty did this post members only. I don't know why she didn't post this up publicly. Why is this only available and seen by her VIBs? What about the other people that come to her channel and watch her videos? Why not give this for everybody? Why is this members only? Is it because she only cares about the VIBs? And so they're only allowed to see this? She only does the members only chat, so just be concerned about the members. She posted up the video this morning telling that she dropped the charges against Natter. And then to keep anybody from saying anything, on that matter despite the fact the last several months she's put everybody through hell oh i put you through hell and now that i've made this video exposing the fact that i've dropped these charges no one's allowed to say anything to me i am not going to deal with anybody saying anything to me so i'm warning you if you say one thing to me i'm gonna block you yeah nice way of handling things chantal also, nice attitude for just posting this, this for your VIBs. What about the other thousands of people that are part of your channel that watch your videos? What about them? Anyway, so she says in this post, I didn't go back like people think. Those were not my boots. In fact, no one has ever seen me with a pair of black boots. Oh, really? Is that a fact, madam? Let me show you guys something. What's that? Those are her boots right there. Right there at his house. Boom. No one's ever seen you with a pair of black boots, right? What's that? What's on her feet? Black boots. See, Chantal, you, you madam, because you are not truthful. People come to the reaction channels for the truth because you're such a bad liar. 
No one has ever seen you with a pair of black boots. What's that on your feet right there? Looks like black boots to me. Again, so she's wearing black boots right there. There are your boots at his house. So tell us again, you don't have a pair of black boots. Tell us again, you've never worn black boots. Tell, tell us that those aren't your boots. Let's see if I can blow those up. They're a little blurry, but those are her boots. Proof right there. You lied. I also found this interesting. So there is a person named Crippy Reacts that posted this comment that says, well, this case won't lead to a conviction as your online testimony contradicts itself. Your behavior has killed this too, as you've harassed the accused and abused their new partner, admitting on video that you did this out of vindictiveness. The fact you've withdrawn the charges isn't an admission of lying, as many alleged abuse victims do this. It's very common. But many think this is because you want Natter back and will date him in secret after this video. Prove us wrong. Then she replies, LMAO, we will see. Booty Beauty also says, STFU abuses new partner. You to F all the way off with that crap. Ashley Chantal, he's not wrong. You did abuse his new partner. Think back to all the things you said about Dee, Dee all the threats you've made, doxing her or trying to dox her. I would call that abuse. I would. So now, now we've gone over that. Let's go over this. So here's the video. Before we get started with all this, let's go into the comments because those are always good. Another one says, my guess is that as usual, she's been texting, calling him incessantly, was told that Dee Dee is on her way back and went full blown manic. Yeah, I've noticed in this video that her energy is different. The last couple of days she was on cloud nine. She was happy, she was chipper, and her mood in this particular live stream is much more somber. I wonder what caused it to shift. Uh, Momo says, I'll be back to screech about how I was once again kicked out of the crack shack after handing over 5K for some green pea. Swimming Mermaid replies to that saying, she probably every time she leaves her house goes and sits watching for a glimpse of Natter. That is, if they aren't already seeing one another again, and that should be easy to find out with the ones who live close by, that watch her. So sad to be so desperate for someone like that. Well, she's been over at his house. He let her in the house. We saw her boots in his house. So he's let her in the place. Uh, will he let her in when Steedy comes back? Don't know, but it's just, it's messed up. That he even let her in the house. I know, Sparky. Tell her. Bubby, come here. My co-host is here. Sparky, he's wandering about. Hi, Bobby. Hi. That's my boy. He's a good boy. Um, but it's interesting also in this video, in the early part of the video, this live stream, she reveals that she's going to go take a walk in Gatineau Park. She seems to have an obsession now with going to Gatineau Park. And it's cold outside. She wants to go take a walk in her PJs. Why the sudden need to go take a walk in Gatineau Park and you're dressed in just your PJs, Chantal? You're not even dressed for walking. Make it make sense. Summer Flower says, I could be wrong, but I have a hunch something has been going on in the background with her harassing him and or Dee Dee. And the police recently had a little talk with her about knocking it off. At about 48 minutes and 50 seconds, she says something I found interesting about her behavior and not wanting to go to jail. My guess is that since she's dropped the, oh my God. And it, it's, uh, oh no, I'm not going to report it. I'm not reporting it. But uh, maybe the police did have a talk with her and told her to leave Natter alone. And that's why she's so somber because she had a talking to. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, but I really wish she would leave Natter alone. But then again, if he's letting her in the house for whatever reason, uh, that's stupid on his part. Aside from the pictures that I just showed you, showing her wearing those black boots and showing the boots at his house, and she swears she's not been over there. Again, there's all kinds of proof she's been there. The thumbnail that was done for one of his uh, videos or live streams, that's her handiwork. Also, in one of the live streams, you people said they heard her breathing, they heard her eating, and there was one shot I remember seeing where Natter was in his kitchen making food. You can clearly see him in front of the camera and you heard all kinds of noise going on in the background. And we know that Dee, Dee wasn't the one doing it because she's not there. So who else could it be making all that noise? Who else could it be? Uh, Summer Flowers replies to life of an angel. Ma. If she hadn't been in contact with him at all, as she claims, then it would make no sense to make a comment about having to keep her behavior in check. Uh, Daisy Skippy says, puts little effort into your job, makes a ridiculous amount for doing the bare minimum, yet still doesn't have any money. Through your behavior, attitude, laziness, etc. thank you for helping me see that in this life, money isn't everything. Yeah, Chantal is walking proof that money is not everything. You need more than that. You know, all she has is money and she's broken every other way. Cinnamon Girl says, Chantal, guys, do you like watching me pull into these parking lots and eat? Now, if by chance you answer yes to this question, please seek immediate help. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You're nuts. I'm a reactor. The whole live stream is where she's pulling in somewhere and eating. That's her content. Yeah, I could do without that. And I'm sure a lot of people could do with that out that either. Yeah, it, that's not interesting. Pulling into a parking lot and eating a meal. How many times have we seen her do that? Grapefruit Juice says, you can be in therapy. However, being in therapy is not how therapy works. You have to do the work outside of the therapy session and make changes. Very true, Grapefruit. Very, very true. You can sit there in a therapy session and listen to the person talk. But unless you're doing the therapy outside the session and making changes, it's there's not going to be much progress. Susan Tate says, I'm just thinking, if you are able to come off your usual drug of choice with relative ease, it generally means that you have found a replacement in my experience. Well, we can all pretty much narrow down what she might be doing instead of edibles in green. I think perhaps maybe Chantal has replaced the green with the white. That's where she's getting this energy from. That's where she's getting all this talkativeness from. Uh, she doesn't have this much energy unless there's a reason. You know, doing more of the white as opposed to the green. And maybe she's also laying off the green. This is just my theory now. Maybe she's laying off the green or trying to get away from the green because when she does it, she also eats. She's got a problem with food. When she does edibles, when she smokes green, all that does is stimulate her hunger. And trust me, she doesn't need it stimulated. So she's over there doing the white because it gives her energy and it keeps her from eating. And she, she's trying to use the, the white stuff as a diet sort of thing, you know? Before, when she was on the white, she lost a bunch of weight because she stopped eating. She dropped like 60, 70 pounds. Is she trying to go back to that? I don't know. But I do know that whenever she does the green stuff, she binges out. She eats a bunch of food and she's gaining a tremendous amount of weight. So maybe she's trying to do the white stuff again to lose some of that weight. Maybe as a way to get matter back. I don't know. I don't know. Aquarius Princess says, who the heck goes out in PJs and no bra and then goes on a drug run? Who drives that far into the same spot and then you just got her, then you got her big mouth running a mile a minute. Yeah, but no drugs here. Yeah, who does that? <laughs> it's it's still winter in where she's at. It's still cold. She's wearing barely anything. 
going out dressed in her PJs. Why? Put some clothes on, for God's sake. Why are you running around and you're barely nothing? Uh, Kathy L says, sounds like the cops told you what could happen if you pursue these claims. Basically, you admit you could go to jail for your behavior. You need some serious therapy. Well, I've already given my opinion. I don't think that the charges were ever filed. And I'll die on the hill with that. I mean, why else would Natter let her in the house? Yeah, I know. I know, baby. I know. Foodie's ridiculous. She's always been ridiculous, but I know. <laughs> Even my cat's sick of Foodie. <laughs> He's got a lot to say today. I know, baby boy. I know. I know. <laughs> you hear that, foodie? My even my cat is bitching at you. <laughs> Sparky ain't having no mess today. <laughs> it's funny. Bobby, come here. Get on the mic with me. Uh, Miranda says leaving right when you got home wasn't a giveaway or anything. No, it, it wasn't a giveaway. Not at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's, let's see. Harper Meadows says demonetized hospital, prison, morgue. These are the only options. You know, I wish there were more options on the table. If Foodie would just stop doing this ridiculous stuff, she could turn her life around. She needs to let go of Natter. She needs to let go of him. Walk away. Cut her losses. Do something different. It's time. But she's determined to hang on to him. And he don't want her. He don't want her. You know, foodie, he's just not that into you. Leave the boy alone. Walk away. Megan Jackson says the last 10, 15 minutes of this video, she's high as a kite on something, y'all. Driving around like that, unreal. Yeah, driving high, that's just the norm for foodie. When have we ever seen this woman sober? Never. And see. Gypsy Rock, 3.35. That's sad. You should work hard to help your mom and also be the best person you can be and work on yourself daily in therapy. So that she doesn't spend all day working and worrying about you. You're 40 years old. She was raising multiple children at your age. Not everyone needs to have kids. Uh, I'm not. But that should tell you where she was responsible wise. And actually have the higher edge. Having no kids. To be even more on top of your life and responsibilities. But you know. Natter. And you don't care about your physical or mental health. So. Yeah. So Foodie talks about. Oh my mom worries about me. You know what, Foodie? Your mom shouldn't have to worry about you. You're at an old enough age where your mom should not have to worry about you. What's going to happen to you tomorrow? Are you going to get into a car accident? Are you going to get arrested? Your mother should not have to worry about these things. She's a hardworking lady. And recently she went through something horrible, her mother passing away. You should be there for your mom. Asking, Mom, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything you need done? How can I help you? But you're not that person. You're too self-absorbed. Shame on you for making your mom worry about you. That should not be happening at all. Five Fuck It says, you don't seem as happy today. Had an argument with Natter already? Yes, yeah, something happened in the background. We don't know what happened yet, but trust me, we will. If Natter has rejected her, we'll hear about it. She'll rage about it. She'll let it all out. All we got to do is sit back, grab the popcorn, and wait. All right, so that's all for the comments. Let's get into the video. We're going to jump around a lot because this thing is a monster, like three hours and 37 minutes. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? So, namaste. Anyway, it is a very nice day. Today is like plus six. Holy shit. I thought it was only plus one. Oh, it's plus ten. Okay, yes. I don't even have my jacket on or my sweater. So we are going to go. You don't even have any clothes on. You got your PJs on. What's the matter with you? get coffee and then I want to go get um I want to go to the Gatineau Park to go for a long walk like maybe instead of two minutes like maybe 
five minutes. <laughs> you know, five minutes is not a long walk. That's basically a warm up. I mean, I'm happy if she does walk. She needs to walk. She needs to get out, get some exercise. But five minutes, that's just a warm up walk. Actually, I have to go. We have to kick around. I got to go to the pharmacy. I found, finally found where I transferred my prescription for my Simbacort to. So, oh, sorry, that's an inhaler, steroid inhaler. Without it, like, it's not the same. I can take the, like, emergency inhaler all I want, but, like, it doesn't really do much compared to the, the steroid. So, I need to get that. So, I'm going to go after three, and I'm going to get that. And I'm also going to get something for to clean this tattoo and start thinking about taking off the second skin because it's coming off. And the guy said if it came off, it just comes like okay but just like i don't know i think i'm um i could message him too and like you know and he can give me some tips so as you can see i picked up some new ham beanies we don't care i looked at like i found somebody i found some uh ukraine beanies but they're gonna take forever to ship i guess i can start now it'll take like a month or something so they're probably they're obviously shipping from ukraine or like somewhere in another country maybe not ukraine but somewhere that takes forever to get here <laughs> but it's like blue and yellow and white and it's such a cute hat it's really nice and it says i stand with ukraine so yeah just stop staking your emergency i know that's the thing like the emergency wine is not good for long term so that's why i'm so out of breath all the time like Hi, Jen. No notification. I know. Mild fragrance free soap like gold dial. Really? You guys can make fun of me. Just don't talk about you know what right now, okay? Oh. What is this? Is this a slouch beanie? Hello. No, I like the ham. The ham is the best one. Yeah, I like the ham. <laughs> yeah, I know. Combo beauty. It's weird, eh? What made you want to change your life around all of a sudden? I don't know. I guess just tired. <laughs> Nothing is really gradual with me, I guess, I'm noticing. Something happens just like all of a sudden. Always. I think it's just like gradually like you know you just one day just have enough shit you know my barrio ain't what it used to be can't tell hipsters from the whole <laughs> to talk about it right Why would we make her pay rent? That's sneeze. Would you make your family pay rent? You probably would. Thank you. Giant ham. Y'all are so extra. What are you calling an extra? In my blocked words list. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, I will be updating that later, I guess. But the thing is, EG, people find different ways to spell it. Yeah. Sam needs to pay triangle rent. <laughs> I see you, Miss T. Sorry, where did you go? Okay, I need his coffee so bad. Oh, there we're just on our way home. My husband just got a new truck. Hannah Rose. Oh my God! What kind of truck did you get? Hi, VI peasant. Oh, I'm like secretly, secretly praying that Babadook gets to him. I like the mom though. That actress is an actress. I feel bad for her. Like, honestly, makes me want. It made me want to. I have my new mug. At least I'm using it twice. I think this is the most I've ever used a mug.
Am I the only person to do that? Do you guys just buy shit that you just never use? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hot coffee coming right up. Uh oh. I feel a bit too much. Dang. Hold on. I mean, I know I can do what I want, but hi, Madam Sure. Oh, this weekend I wanted to go. Yeah, churros, <laughs> churros, Southern Belle. I didn't like scream so from what I seen Tiffany Dawn, so I stopped watching it. Hi, Emerald. I actually got the movie for free because I have like five million fucking scene points. I don't know where they came from. Hi, Emerald Skies. Thank you, Freelies. <laughs> I've seen Manhunter, yeah. <laughs> I don't really like gory, really too gory movies. Explain stuff about like... Confusing more and also still being respectful to everything. Um, I don't want to come on here and like bash him. I don't want to come on here and like talk about him. I don't want to come on here or anything like that. I just want to like move on. That's all I want to do. Hand chemo high, and, and I want to deal with this now in the right way. You can't move on from if you keep going back to see him. How are you moving on if you're going back to see him? getting in his house talking to him how are you moving on moving on means you walk away and you move on you don't go back and see the man you don't talk to him you don't keep the phone on so you can call him how are you moving on if you're still attached to him in some way like i want to do things right you know because i haven't and i wish that i wish that i could say that everything I wish I could say I did do it right, you know. Stop wearing ham colored clothes, Penny. Why? Hi, Faith. I actually love this color. Where do I get aqua for? I fucking lose them. Joy Stone says, I feel that you are seeing him again. I hope I'm wrong. She is seeing him again. I just showed you guys. Her boots were over his house. He watches live streams. You can hear noise in the background, and clearly Natter isn't making that noise. And she's making the thumbnails for him. And she was deleting comments in the chat. And she made a sock account named Candy where she outed herself as being over there. Because when somebody said they spotted her over there, she came back with, it's illegal for you guys to follow me. Yeah, she did all that. She's seeing him. And he's an idiot for letting her back in there. As a matter of fact, they're both idiots. They both are. They're both stupid. Block myself. These are beauty. I think that's the statement of the fucking year. Uh, let's go get cat food. Rose water. The color doesn't suit me, really. I think it suits my skin tone. But I guess I'm just, uh, what do I know? It really does. I don't know. It's a soft color. I like the color. I don't know why. I guess more vivid colors suit me better, like more like gem tones or whatever you guys think. I yeah. know. Colors that look the worst on me are probably yellow, orange, orange. <clears throat> brown stuff like that because of my skin color like if you have a more if your skin is darker you're gonna look better in those kind of earthy tones which i'm kind of jealous because i like i like wearing like beige eyeshadow sometimes but it looks like shit stain on my face you know <laughs> like it doesn't look the same <laughs> so like coppers and stuff like that don't look good on me Really? 
Uh, what am I doing right now? I'm mentally ill, in my pajamas, driving around to do errands. I haven't blow, blown this nostril since like my nose is piercing. Like I can't do it. I can't blow it, but I need to. Like I feel like I want to just blow my nose. <laughs> so I try to do it in this nostril, but uh, but I think it's uh, healing okay. Knock on wood. Um, I wish I could cancel my eyelashes. I already paid for them. They make you pay in advance. I'm gonna see if I can cancel it. If not, then I have to get it done, I guess, at least once. And then maybe I'll love it. I don't know, maybe I should just go and try and see. A lot of people say they like it, a lot of people say they hate it, it ruins your lashes. But I'm assuming trying it once won't. Won't be too, too, too bad. Oh, oh my God, the snow's melting, there's puddles. It's there's potholes like you would not believe on the road. Oh. There's potholes in the roads, and yet, if there are potholes, she's driving right over them. Can't you avoid them? I don't know if that's potholes or that her car is about to give out. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go get something good to eat for lunch and then we're gonna go to the park and go for a walk. Are you guys beezing and talking about stuff you're not supposed to do while I'm not looking? <laughs> You beaters! There's too many potholes. I don't think there's potholes. I think your car's about to give out, my opinion. I do want to clarify one thing and just say, actually, like, as an addition to, like, my whole thing, it's like, I just want to, like, emphasize and just make it clear, because there's a lot of confusion about that, that going forward even with my video last night, like when I talk generally about stuff that happens, like I'm going to be talking generally. I'm not going to go into detail, but like I'm not talking right now, but I mean, like eventually if I do talk about something or update you on something. She really wants to talk about matter right now. She's dying to. She's holding herself back. Look at her. She wants to say his name. Something briefly, it's going to be very general. It's going to be very, um, it doesn't mean I'm going back. Like I'm not. 100 percent well you're not going back but you've been back you got your natter fix you know you did you know you did you've already been back this is a thousand times it's over like it's it's 100 percent over like there's just it's just remember what i said about semantics and foodie it's all about the fine print she says it's over but just because it's over doesn't mean that she's not going to go back. Th this is her way of saying it. I said it's over, but I never said I'm not going to be around him and I'm not going to talk to him. The phone is still on. She never turned it off. So how can it be over, over if that's going on? Just please get that out of your mind that it's like not because um, legally there's still fallout and stuff I'm dealing with. And probably going to be for a while, unfortunately. 
which is going to be like mental torment because I just want to forget and I just want to move on. But if you're so tormented, Foodie, then turn that phone off so you can't talk to them. Turn the phone off. You're so tormented. You're so tortured. Turn the phone off. There's no reason to keep it on. Turn it off. If you don't turn it off, that means you're not that tormented. I don't think I'll ever forget, but I just want to like try to start healing and moving on. And I feel like it's going to be just almost impossible because of this fucking shit. So I just want you to get that in your head. And I know a lot of people won't believe it, at least for a little while, which is fine. But whenever I say, like, whenever I announce that I had dropped the I requested to drop the chat. Oh, and here's a comment I want to address in the chat before it disappears. E.G. E.G. says, but you definitely lied when you said the detective called you in New York since you dropped the charges two days before that. Yeah, another one of her lies. Footy lies. That's all she does is lie. She lies so much she can't keep track of her lies in her head. And that's why she keeps getting caught charges prior it's because i was it was still very new and i was like oh shit you know like i felt bad i felt really guilty and i'm like i'm scared like it's big fucking deal it's like bigger than i thought at the time and so um i did that out of a moment of weakness but it's not something i'm gonna I'm just going to be, uh, the only thing I can say is I'm just going to be truthful. In the email, I was tr truthful and honest, even to the point. Of, did I look dumb saying I'm still in love? Yeah, let's talk about that email. Let's talk about that email a minute. That didn't even look like an official email. That was sent through your Foodie Beauty account. So this real life domestic case, you sent an email from your Foodie Beauty account. Really? Really, that was you? That didn't even look like an official email. That looked phony to me. So, I mean, so that was the thing. Um, I just want to assure you 100% that I know that it's 1,000% done. And it's at the stage now where it's time to take the next steps moving on and focusing on myself. Um, you know. So that's it. Um, okay. So yeah, <laughs> just to clear that up. <clears throat> yes, I want to say like, because I feel like people are like feeling like they're supporting me in vain. Exactly. Like, I want you to know, like, I never... I don't even know what to say. I'll just save it for another video. So you're going to talk about him again in another video after telling everybody, if you talk about him, I am going to ban and block you and I won't unblock you, but you'll talk about it again. So you want to talk about him again as much as you want, but nobody else is allowed to comment on what you say. Nice. Watching him, yeah. We're at the cafe store. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think at the time that people asked me, I said, you know what? I didn't yet. I don't know. Try and close the chapter exactly. Uh, Dr. Agathon Carver says, can't wait until his girlfriend returns from Montreal. See, that's going to be another thing. Didi's supposed to be back in a couple of days. I wonder what's going to happen when Didi returns back. Is Foodie going to keep her mouth shut? Is she going to rage again? She's probably going to rage. Watch. So Foodie was foaming at the mouth to see Natter and angry and raging at him when Didi was there. The moment that Didi stepped away for a minute, she calmed down. And yet, Dee Dee's on her way back. So what's going to happen when Dee Dee shows up? Is she going to be this calm, I'm moving on person? Or is she going to rage? What do you guys think? I think she's going to rage. I think she's going to lose it. And she's going to rage again. I can almost guarantee it. 
Anyway, over to the screen. Whee! Hi, Sarah Jane. Okay. Look at this dog. Deflection. Maggie, you missed the coffee run by the bicycle, bicycle, bicycle seat head, Sam. You, I saw you, you fat fucking triangle. I swear to God, I'd never hear BBJ come in my room, but of course, in the middle of the night, I'm in my bed and all I hear is creak, creak. I think someone's coming. I can hear him come up the stairs. I can hear him creak on the floor coming into my room. So me, I'm fucking reaching for my pepper spray. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck? So that's why this morning I'm like, I saw silly Sam. You creak the floor when you walk, and it's too big. It's too loud. It makes me paranoid. You're gonna set off the alarm system. I'm not getting him churros. He needs to go on a diet. You know, I hate the cat voice he has for the cats. It's not even sweet or nice. It's so annoying. I can only imagine the cats being stressed out just because of her voice. It's so loud and 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 just full of aggression. It's horrible. Awesome. Pepper spray. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're not supposed to use it on people here either. I have it for coyotes and dogs. When do you ever go outside? You're getting, uh, from what I understand, pepper spray is illegal in Canada, and that's why she wanted to get the bear spray. But if she gets the bear spray, what for? What is she getting bear spray for? She never goes outside. Okay, I'm gonna go buy a vape, vape, a big vape. I think I'm gonna go buy a volcano because I want to have some. I thought you were done with the green. I guess you lied about that too. A little bit of weed before bed. Uh huh. See, she said, "Oh, it's done. I'm done with the, the, the edibles and the green." Well, she's back at it. She said, "I'm not gonna smoke anymore." Well, that lasted all of like what a day. Just like a little bit worth, like a joint worth. Uh huh. That was good for me last night. Looking like a five-year-old bubblegum with coffee. See, the problem with you and any kind of chemical is that you don't stop it a little. You always do too much. That's why you can't have anything that you like near you because you go overboard. <laughs> Chew me up. Spit me out. Yeah, I know. I've learned that. Sorry, I just need another minute. Like, this is what happens when I come to a store. I need to, like, prepare for the walking. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I need to mentally prepare for everything before going in somewhere. <clears throat> Staying off it. I'm weaning, so, like, yeah. You didn't say weaning, though. You said you were completely quitting. Now you're weaning. You're giving yourself an out. Sam's a little teapot, short and stout. There is his belly, there is his mouth. When he gets all angry, hear him shout, give me three meows, meow, meow, meow. That's so cute. I love that song. That's right. That's just Peter Murphy song? Excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Kate, hello. I drive to the store sometimes too and say no, and then yeah. Nine lives. I have not seen that. Thank you, Care. Hi, just Brandy. This is just a tea. I wore this shit today. So, all right, I'm gonna go on to back. Haggis says, I can't wait for him to just move. I wish he would. I wish Natter would move already. He talked about going to Toronto or Montreal. I want him to move somewhere away from this woman. Get away from Chantal. Don't be so close by. He said he was going to be moving on the 28th. Why hasn't he moved yet? Leave, Natter. Go somewhere. Do something. Get away from Chantal so we'll stop hearing about you. My future is more sharp than the boogers in my nose. Although, are all of those 
from Amazon. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go get food. I need something healthy. So I got a whole um packs system. It's a um. It's a vaporizer, so it won't combust the flour. It won't burn it, which will be easier on my lungs. So I got cat food. So now the pax is great. And hi, damn it, Danny. Um. Yeah, she's supposed to get cat food. Where's the freaking cat food? I did get cat food, Club Below. Where? Where you use the flour for butter? Really? Oh my god! You're so right because it carbs it, decarbs it, right? Hi, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, tired as fuck. Damn it, Danny. You doodled a picture of me. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> Your work here is done. Ivana? Really? Why? That bothers me. She said she was going to get cat food. Where's the cat food? Where's the cat food? Chantal, if you need cat food and you leave that store without cat food, woman, I'm not going to be happy with you. Uh, hi, Sarah Jane. So I just want to let you know, finally, and I mean this finally, I am, I did request to drop the charges, but it doesn't mean that I'm denying everything and I'm not going to, like, even in the email, I said, everything happened. I said was true because I, I took an oath and I did tell the truth. What? But. Wait a minute. What do you mean you? You didn't know if you told the truth. You're not on trial yet. What do you mean? What is this? I took an oath. I don't think you ever filed charges. No evidence to say that you actually filed them. No evidence to suggest that he was actually picked up. It's all hearsay coming out of your mouth. And we know we can't trust you. And it took you over a week, 10 days to come forward and let people know that you dropped the charges. In the meantime, you were very happy to milk everybody for money to keep up the ruse that the charges were still in place. 10 days, 10. You were very happy to rake in as much money as possible for over a week. Disgusting. Because of how I fucked everything up online, whether I'm believed or not is good time will tell. And I honestly don't, I don't even want to fight. I don't, I just want to like. You know, as far as Chantal, she doesn't care if she tells the truth. She doesn't care if she lies. She doesn't care if people believe her or not believe her. All she cares about is making money on this channel. That's it. Because the money is what gives her the freedom to do whatever she wants and spend the money however she wants. People's opinions and feelings don't matter to her. She doesn't care if. She's trauma dumping on everybody and using other people's trauma and other people's bad experiences to make money. It's all about the dollar bill for her. Just like I said, I just want peace and be done in my life. But at the same time, I know this is like, I feel like because it's online, it's like, just, it's like bigger than me at this point. It's like, I opened a whole fucking can of worms that, you know. You were looking for another story arc. You were looking for another story arc because you know you push, push things too far with Natter, so you can't bring him on camera with you anymore. So you still found a way to make money on him and talk about him without him actually being in the picture. Hence why you came up with this whole arc of I'm going to the cops and I'm filing charges. Bringing the DV and essay stuff back again to your channel like you did before. You're recycling toxic content. 
just couldn't leave it alone. The first time it was bad, this, this time it's worse. You've, you've affected so many people with your content and you don't care because it doesn't affect you. All you care about is that big paycheck from YouTube once a month. So that's all I want to say. I just, whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to just try to not talk about it online anymore and just be truthful. Um, you be truthful. And honest and open and try to stay calm and not aggressive and angry in this because it doesn't help. Good luck with that. And it will just cause me more trouble and I'll probably end up going to jail. And I don't want to go to jail. So there's the comment that the person in the comments was talking about. I don't want to go to jail. How would you go to jail? How would you go to jail? Is it because behind the scenes you're harassing that or you're calling him incessantly? And maybe someone gave you a talking to and said, you need to cool it. Is that why your mood is so different today? Because someone gave you a talking to? And you know you've got to tone it down or else your butt is going to be in jail. Yeah, you need to stop your stalking ways, Chantal. Leave the man alone. So. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Now. We need to go. Um. We need to go get some, I got cat food, I've got my vape. Pharmacy is not right now, they're not gonna be done. She was just at the store, why didn't she get the cat food there? What did I need to do? Oh yeah, the park. No food. She made sure to get her vape, but she didn't make sure to get cat food. It shows you where her priorities are at. Rude. In park, food park, prescriptions, and then home. So what I'm doing is just reserving the cannabis, um, like no more than like a joint's worth at night. I'll put it in my pack. And before, like maybe like an hour before I want to go to bed or something and have the chamomile tea with it. Someone's like, no wonder you can't sleep. You went from like 3000 milligrams of edibles to like chamomile tea. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're the idiot that did that. Anybody that's ever done edibles and smoke cream will tell you that. That's ridiculous to sit there and smoke joint after joint and do edible after edible until your tolerance level reaches such a high degree that you can no longer feel it without taking stupid amounts. A little goes a long way. You don't need as much as you think you do. 3,000 milligrams is insane. This thing really keeps your coffee really hot. Lily Roth says, so all this recent cheerfulness is because she dropped the charges when Dee Dee left and thought she would go back. Yep, pretty much. She thought that when Dee Dee left, she could just make it all better, go run back to Natter, and things would be as they were. That he would just let her over there and she could party over there. And she's finding out that ain't the case. like the Playboy Mansion. O-M-G. And Nadia Business can be the manager. Forgot to turn. All right, so long road it is. I'll put the camera for you guys. There you go. You can be chubby and get moved. Actually, yes, you can, because did you ever see that post-mortem? before a few times. I'm going to have to go to the Kia and be like, why is my car light engine on? Because you're running the car into the ground and you don't ever spend any money on your car. That's why. Mm. There's different reasons. I have a code reader, so I'm going to plug it in and see. It 
It's done this many times. I had to, it's just something stupid in the sensor of the car. So it's not like urgent, urgent, not on wood, but whatever. It's just annoying. You see the engine light, your heart automatically like, oh my God, you know. <laughs> Why is this man taking a shopping cart? I can't believe I bought a DK and white towel. Like, what a loser. Seriously, you could keep a man. I do, Creek. No, I do need to be more diligent with you. right. I'm gross sometimes. Spinach bench. Will you? Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, thanks, Beanie. Beanie! So I'm going to see if, like, my therapist can, like, if they know any psychiatrists or something. So I can properly find out what the hell's wrong with my brain. That's going to take a team of doctors and psychiatrists, not just one. I think I'm normal, but You're not. too many people are saying I'm not. So. You're not. <laughs> Shemay to Chelsea. Here we go. See, we're over. Our what they have? No chicken. Just a salad. <sighs> I'm not lying about I'm like sad at all. It's itchy too on top of the head. This is fucked. If I spray them, I will feel like such an asshole. If I don't go back and offer them a ride. Oh my god. Or like something. God. So I think we pretty much got the gist of this live stream. <sighs> what a day. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this react video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.